Pin command. What pin command does is actually send the request to, to a server and then server uh, sends the request back. Very simple, very, com uh, very small piece of information. And if information is received within a given specified amount of time, it means that, first of all, we have network connection. Because if you don't have network connection, you cannot send requests, right? And second is that this server is up and running. Okay? This is actually typically done within the company. And if you like just to test your network, you put ping probably Google or Yahoo. Okay? But some servers, like IBM servers, might not be responding to your pings because they don't like to respond because that takes some of their resources. So they actually disable this ping. Okay? But within the company, if you like to make sure that the given server, the given computer is up and running, you just issue that ping command. Let's do that uh, together. So what you need to do, you need to invoke, uh, inv invoke console window. Say CMD. From the run command, uh, type CMD, and you'll be, uh, you'll be, uh, you are going to see this console window. Uh, in the console window, you can say ping. PING. This application is part of the Windows system. And after that, you type the server, either IP address of the server or name of the server. In this case, I'm typing www.google.com. And if I press Enter, I will get responses back. In this case, uh, yeah, uh, so what happens is that. <coughs> Uh, when I'm pinging Google, I'm pinging specific server who is responsible for responding to my ping. This is the IP address of the server, okay? Google server. Uh, this is how much information I sent to the Google server, 32 bit of information, 32 basically characters, may say. And uh, this is a very crucial part. It says how long time it takes for my ping to go there and come back, okay? Basically, how, how long time it takes the ping. Less time it takes, more fa uh, faster connection you have, okay? So, and this is a time to leave, say so how long you are willing to wait for that signal. If you exceed that time, you will not, uh, you will, I mean, this uh, response considered to be uh, dead, okay? So it means sometimes you may get response, sometimes not. In that case, you'll get not 100%, uh, you get say, some percentage of loss, okay? So depending on how, how much it was. For example, if I'm trying to ping, uh, besides that, you get very basic statistics. So minimum uh, amount of time, maximum, and average. Okay, so if you need to do that. Uh, so what we need, uh, we need to do, I'm uh, just pinging um, non-existent server. Okay, something like that. Yeah, they cannot find the server. Okay, uh, let's see. <laughs> something a uh, very slow server like uh, Canada oh. let's see if they no still uh, still passing uh, but in this kind of time, uh, time it, uh, uh, the, the response time is longer, okay? So uh, again, I, I cannot come up with a server which will show the sum loss of the packages. In this case, we result in 0% zero, zero loss. We get the basically all packages back. But in this case, time is definitely between 88 and 149 seconds, milliseconds response time. So this is the very first test you do when something goes wrong with your, wrong with your application. The first thing you may consider is just either server down or network is down, right? If you can ping Google, it means that, or Google or Yahoo, it means that the network is up and running. So the problem with your server. So you ping your server again, and just look at the log file, what happens there, and then try to find it. But this is the very first step in troubleshooting problems which you experience, okay? You have to ping it. You have to ping the server, okay? And if you respond, get a response back, it means the server is up and running, network is up and running. If you don't get anything, you have to suspect your cable connection or network connection, okay? In that case, if you try a different couple of different servers, if you don't get anything from Google, for example, Google, uh, uh, all, I mean, all the years which I, I was pinging you, Google, only once I could not ping it, okay? Out of these uh, years, okay? 
So it means that something definitely much more possible that it's your network rather than Google. Okay, any questions? So, yeah, because MSN.com is found, but MSN.com is configured the way that they don't respond to pings, okay? It's definitely not a polite way of doing it, but they decided to not support it because it takes resources, right? Let's assume if, say, 20,000 users or half a million users started to ping them just for fun, okay? That will consume some of the network resources. They say, you know what, there are too many, too many people who like to ping us, we don't like it, okay? It's kind of a late ho uh, lighthouse, okay? So you, you like to quench the fire in the lighthouse, you don't say anything, no one will see you. That's what we did, and this is the command line. For example, I was running at home, my time was much better. I have 10 milliseconds here, okay? Uh, and pretty stable. You see that it's uh, 9 milliseconds and 10 milliseconds basically I get very nice time. Okay. What gets average 9 milliseconds? I don't know <laughs> because it should give you 10 milliseconds, right? Why it calculated 9 milliseconds as average? This is a little bit strange. Okay, some, some, wrong, uh, some problem with the statistics. Anyway, uh, see how it works. Uh, basically you uh, started to ping uh, 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 you, you ping, uh, somehow it goes to the hub, through the router, to the internet service provider, to the server which is uh, getting the ping, and then server responses, okay? And then if you receive the ping, your ping, it means that everything is okay. So, uh, uh, it's already said that, no need for that. So, ping definitely sends some data to the remote servers, say in our case, default one is 32 bit, bits uh, information and the data is sent in the packages. And then if some packages are lost, it will be reported. And the full, uh, 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 full template for the ping command looks like this. Uh, for example, some flags we didn't provide, and then uh, that's why we use default ones. But we can configure everything. We can configure how many times we like to ping. We like to configure the size, how much information we are going to send. And then we can increase uh, the timeout, uh, timeout period and so on, so on, so on. Basically, it's everything is configurable, and this is the uh, list of configurable command. So if you like to uh, stop the pinging, for example, if you said to send uh, 100 pings, and uh, suddenly you decided to stop, anything, any process you like to stop on the console window, control C, okay? Pressing control C will stop the process on the console window. This is not limited to the ping command. So, uh, uh, these are lists, definitely you don't need to memorize it, okay? Mm -hmm. But you need to use this table for this exercise, okay? I mean, this, uh, we, we're thinking, uh, we should go, I'm showing you examples of that. For example, if uh, you uh, execute ping like this, ping space da dash n2 and then dash l 1450, that's, uh, it means that for, uh, you are increasing the size of the ping from default 30 to 1450, basically you're sending one and a half kilobyte of data to this IP address, okay? And so on. Um, if, for example, you'd like to uh, decrease the uh, resp I mean, uh, timeout period uh, from default, uh, default 32, you can say this one. In this case, uh, yeah, uh, wait a sec, uh, it's, um, Timeout, TTL, uh, yeah, minus i. You can specify another flag, minus i, and specify the value which you like to set the timeout period, timeout which is in the milliseconds, okay? 